Kwa hiyo a politician ilikuwa sisi tumejidhaarisha for a contest with either Shaban or Abdul Samad. That was the like that was the likely outcome. Wacha niseme kitu kwa hadhara leo. If the contest was going to be against Shaba which we thought was the actual possibility engekuwa a very engaging intellectually stimulating contest i expected with with Shaba to have an issue based campaign in fact i had i had uh, try, I'd started to equip myself with economic uh, policies i was doing enormous research because sometimes you look at your adversary and prepare yourself measurable eh na ule uwezo wa yule mpinzani wako kwa hivyo i believe shaba will have brought a debate in the mombasa politics that will have been a notch higher eh, than the debates we've had in the previous uh, uh, debates with the yamama madevu we will have had a very 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 interesting political discourse our teams were on high gear because we thought Shaba was our likely opponent so we were getting our economics right we were getting our issues right we were getting a, get a lot of other issues right we have a we have a lot of respect for him as a person but with Abdul Somad eh, but still he would have lost against us Abdul uh, Somad uh, he would have just given even with some of the challenges about the tourism department by and large the the the, the voters turned out with their numbers they were largely peaceful they were largely uh, uh, unbalanced and they were extremely patient. So I think we want to, to commend our members, uh, to commend uh, the, entire, the entire process. I know, um, and it is normal in an election, what, what we have convened here today are all sets of aspirants in the, in the United Democratic Alliance. Those who are successful about uh, 27 or 28 because there will be, there'll be repeat elections on uh, on, uh, on Tuesday in uh, Freer Town and Airport. But by and large, the, the elections were, were, were fairly um, uh, well conducted across the country. And uh, some of the members here also are members who, of essence, were not, were not successful in the process, but have still decided uh, to be part and parcel of, uh, of this, uh, of this uh, process. So, uh, as I said, we had convened you here largely uh, to ensure to, to just first and foremost congratulate not only those who have uh, gone through this first step, but also to those who participated in this whole exercise, and including the UDA members who have given us their choice of ki the kind of candidates that will represent them in the various levels of electoral competition. And uh, we will we will by and large uh, hope that these are the men and women. Uh, I want to advise in, uh, with a lot of respect those who might think that uh, the elections were marred with a certain level of, of irregularities uh, to please ensure that um, they uh, to, to follow the mechanisms. Uh, they can follow the mechanisms uh, and appeal directly uh, to the National uh, Dispute uh, Resolution Committee and uh, they could uh, document, compile and collect their evidence and submit it uh, to this committee uh, for the purposes of uh, uh, review of some of the victories that are in contention. But more importantly, why we have, have called you here today is to tell you, uh, going by what the word in town has, that Raila Odinga and Uhuru Kenyatta have finally settled on a candidate for Mombasa. We are like the, de the de deputy president has said it regularly or repeatedly. Mombasa and its residents are ready to compete indirectly or directly with Uhuru Kenyatta and Raila Odinga. I have, we have constantly warned the people of Mombasa that this whole idea was a system of preservation, a system of cartels that was supposed to ensure that what was looted from, Ke from Mombasa, the, the transfer of the port functions, uh, the kind of uh, resource, uh, resource theft that has taken place over the years is preserved. I believe personally that we have that what it takes, we have the competence, we have the agility. Uh, uh, Mombasa. 
Mombasa cannot afford another 10 years of Johism. Mombasa cannot afford Joho proteges. Mombasa cannot afford an Uhuru candidate. Mombasa cannot afford a Raila candidate who has sold out the country in mass to Uhuru Kenyatta and his family and his interests. Nitamkubalia ndugu yangu Senator pia ongeze maneno mawili ama matatu. Asante uh, Governor wa uh, Mombasa Hassan Omar. Uh, nataka kwanza kuongeza uh, jamii ya chama chetu cha UDA kutoa ile press conference. Siku ile ndio ungeokaona picha ya mafisi wa Mombasa. Wote wale either wameila Mombasa na wameinyonya ama wanatafuta fursa ya kula Mombasa na kuinyonya. Na sisi tuna imani tuki, tukishirikiana na wengi wale wako kule nje. Mimi niko na imani kwamba tunaweza kupata kuweka vugu vugu na, na chama ambacho kiko na uzani ya kuweza kunyakuwa uongozi na ushindi hapa. Na la mwisho. Sisi hatutaki kurudisha Mombasa katika ile hali ya starehe na ngoma tena. Uwe ni mtu wa madevu mingi na akili kidogo. Tunataka Mombasa kuwe mahali ambapo fikra na, na jasho na damu la watu ilitatumika katika kunufaisha na kuimarisha uchumi wetu. Kwa hayo sisi tuna, tuna imani kwamba wale ambao labda wamekereka kwa yale yaliyotokea ndani ya ODM kwamba wanajua tunarugesho tena katika lile lile shimo la ile familia ya kina Joho. Wanajua kwamba tunarugeshwa tena katika lile lile shimo la ufisadi. Kwa maana wanajua tunapatiwa kikaragosi ambaye hailewi mwanzo wala mwisho kwamba waswahili wasema watu wamo na yeye yumo kwamba upinzani wetu na yeye ni nani hata katika katika, katika katika TikTok nyingi kuliko maarifa mingi na tunataka kuambia watu wa Mombasa we are your clear alternative we offer a qualitative alternative we are a clear choice between those people who want to preserve status quo and continue to loot our resources and ourselves who will give you a, a show wacha nikwambie huyu Abu is Abu is one of the biggest problems in Mombasa county Abu ndio anaifanya biashara. Asanjo yuko tu pale. Watu hapa hapo ujita Alpha. Watu wengi wakija atakwambia, "No, Alpha hakukuweka kwa list. Alpha mpanga, Alpha hukupangua, Alpha hakutaki, Alpha hakasirika." Safari hii. Yeye pia yeye hata ukisema wajua ndio unaona mimi mara nyingi katika msamiati wangu. Simtaji sana governor wetu Madevu. Kwa jili is an is just the cadres lakini yule mtu ambaye anapanga kazi ya Mombasa na anatuhujumu vile anapotuhujumu na sasa amepanga siasa tena ya Mombasa na wakati huu ameshirikiana na Uhuru Kenyatta na na, na Raila Odinga twawaambia hichi kakarabosi chenu is no match tutam defeat na tutaregesha Mombasa kwa mikono ya watu wa Mombasa na sisi tunaomba ushirikiano watu wa Mombasa Harambe UDA Harambe UDA UDA kazi ni kazi UDA kazi ni kazi Aslas Nation wawa Ah asante bwana Ine ambao ambao wako hapa ndio tuliweka msingi na changamoto wa kuleta vuguvugu ambalo linaitwa Hasla Nation ambao chama chake ni UDA katika kungoa hili chungwa ambalo limeleta hali ya usaliti kiuchumi na kisiasa ndani ya Mombasa na pwani nzima na leo sisi tunajua katika nyoyo zetu kwa idadi kubwa sana tumeweza kufaulu katika kuvunja msingi wa chama wa, wa, wa chama cha ODM ambao kwa miaka mingi wameweza kutuhujumu sisi kiuchumi na kisiasa. Na unaona hata katika makubaliano kama yale ambayo sisi tulikuwa tume, tumefikiria kwamba kuna njama ya kuweka uongozi ambao utaendelea kuhujumu uchumi wa Mombasa. Na hujma ya kwanza ni ule uhamisho wa huduma za poti kupelekwa shamba la mtu binafsi ndani ya Naivasha. Kama tulivotaraji Uhuru Kenyatta ni katika yule alioshiriki kututagulia sisi ni nani atakayefaa kuongoza Mombasa. Uhuru Kenyatta na Raila Odinga hawana maslahi ya watu wa Mombasa ndani ya roho zao. Hawana maslahi ya watu wa Mombasa ndani ya nyoyo zao. Wanataka kujihifadhi kiuchumi na kisiasa. Wale wale ambao wamechukua poti yetu ndio wale wale sasa wameweka mwakilishi wao ambaye anajaribu watajaribu 
kuhakikisha amewalinda kisi nataka kuambia watu wetu wa hasla watu wetu wa UDA wafuasi wetu wa Kenya kwanza musiwe na hofu ya aina yote lakini muhimu ni ombi langu kwa watu wa Mombasa wote kwa ujumla pale tumefika sasa sisi ni watoto wenu sisi ni mabadhi hapa ni watu ni ndugu zenu sisi ni wamoja wenu tumejua malalamishi yenu tumeishi na nyinyi twajua viki zenu twajua hali zetu sisi azma yetu ni kushirikiana na nyinyi ili kuleta mageuzi ndani ya Mombasa scorecard ukiangalia ule utekelezaji wa majukumu huyu jamaa 001 alikuwa 000 katika miaka yaliyokuwa tuliona ndevu zake zikiwa kuliko uchumi wa Mombasa alianza bila ndevu anamaliza na ndevu nyingi sana lakini uchumi alioanza uliokuwa na pesa hauna kitu alijali zaidi ndevu kuliko uchumi kwa hivyo sisi tumkuja kuwaomba sasa akatukua mwenza wake eh ndio alikuwa mwendani wake mkubwa wa mambo ya dance ndio mwendani wake mkubwa wa yake ya TikTok ndio mwendani wake mkubwa katika mapicha yale unayoona katika siku katika Instagram hawana maarifa lakini ni, ni, ni shere kila siku wakamchagua huyo kikaragosi kwa kupitia kwamba uhuru kinyata akajua huyu ndo ataweza ku, kuendelea kulinda na kuhifadhi wale ule ubakaji wa uchumi wa Mombasa kwa hivyo sisi tunawanurudi zenu kwenu watu wa Mombasa kama mwataka ataona moto ile hajawaiona na mapete yake na mabangili yake na viatu vyake vya dhahabu na minyororo yake na mabling hapa ndio watapata kwamba washafika mimi siamini kama Kenya kwa ile wale wanaitwaje wale a, mimi siamini kama azimio wako na mgombea yoyote wa ugavana ambaye anaweza kufua dafu kwetu na kwa timu hii ni vikaragosi tested and failed sisi tuko na watu ambao te, tried tested and trusted kwa hivyo sisi tuko na ile timu ambayo is the winning team kwa hivyo usi, usitie shaka hiyo hiyo ni hata wao wenyewe hawajajua kama watakuwa na nomination au la lakini mimi sisi tulipanga kitambo hata uhuru wapange hata Raila apange hata Kalonzo apange alafu tuje tuwakange hapa hapa <laughs> nice one mm. so, eh Hakuna mheshimiwa unaamini kwamba kwa shamba lisio Lini nitakwenda Dubai kununua miji manukato na vya na vya vya koti na makanzu na majoho na makashida na vizbao because the, the opponent we have is a deliberate scheme about by Raila Odinga to ensure that this county never prospers you cannot have a joho succeed a joho in just a reincarnated form it is 20 years of a loss of will be a lost generation miaka kumi we can still save something 20 years is an entire generation 20 25 years we can't afford that so railan he ni scheme ha watu kutuletea watu who they know their competence is wanting who they know that there are projects that they will protect certain interests so i i know that will not be in an issue based campaign i'm i'm thinking of how i'll have to respond to him constantly uh because he, i have never had him expose any real issues about mombasa most of his campaign ni for photos so hawa jamaa je leo walipokuwa ni wanishauri wanaambia na wewe sometimes itabidi utinge kitu suti ulemee mti upige na wewe uende gym ufanye kitu kama hicho useme kweli useme you know things like that i i think that odm as usual subjects us to a very low quality campaign before before this decision was arrived at kwa uchaguzi ambao umekuwa wa amani na ambao ulikuwa hauna shida nyingi na hivi sasa tumeweza kupata uh, viongozi ambao watakilisha ama watapeperusha bendera ya wana UDA ndani ya Mombasa. Ya pili nafikiri sote tumejua hivi sasa. Yaani kwamba hii contest is well defined. 
wale ambao wanataka kukomboa Mombasa na wale ambao wanataka kuuza Mombasa na hivi sasa sisi kama watu wa UDA tunasema ya kwamba mambo ya se, ya wadera na densi yamepitwa na wakati tunataka kuangazia mambo ya sera ambazo zitanasua uchumi wa Mombasa kutoka uchuchoni kwa miaka mitano tumeona viongozi ambao wanapeperusha bendera ya ODM wamekuwa katika mstari wa mbele kuungana na wale viongozi ambao wanadhalilisha mji wetu na sisi kama chama cha UDA tunataka kusimama kutengeza mji ambao unashirikisha wananchi kikamilifu kwa masuala ya kiuchumi masuala ya katiba masuala ya kisiasa na masuala ya maendeleo tunataka kupea upaumbele mji wetu uchumi wetu ili vijana waweze kupata kazi ndani ya Mombasa kwa hivyo mimi ni kuomba wakazi wa Mombasa tushikane turekebishe mji wetu siasa za agasti ni siasa za ukombozi siasa ya wale ambao wanataka kuzidi kudhalilisha mji wa Mombasa na siasa za UDA ambayo ni kuleta ukombozi wa watu wa Mombasa we want to create a people centered a people led a people driven city ambayo kila mmoja wetu ataweza kujivunia kama wakazi wa mji wa Mombasa asante sana na kuongezea la mwisho kuongezea la mwisho ni kwamba sisi kama muungano sisi ni vijana na kina mama na wasichana wa Mombasa tunaotaka kulinda heshima na maslahi ya Mombasa sisi hatuna majina makubwa sisi hatukuja na pesa nyingi sisi tumekuja na imani zetu na roho zetu na nyoyo zetu kuona ile hali Mombasa imefanywa katika miaka kumi iliyopita na sasa wakaenda wakashikana kwa handshake yule Raila Odinga ambaye tulikuwa ni mshiriki wetu katika kuhakikisha tumetatua zile shida zetu ndani ya Mombasa na wale mafisadi akawa washiriki katika uwizi na ubakaji wa rasilimali ya Mombasa kwa hivyo sisi tunaambia tunajua kwamba sisi kukubalia hichi huu muungano wa kuzimia kuchukua uongozi ni kukubalia familia chache na rasilimali zao kuendelea inaanza mimi kama Fatma Barayan the incoming women rep 2022 niko tayari kuendelea kufanya kazi na wenzangu na wale wote ambao waliweza kushindwa ili tuikomboe Mombasa our interest is to protect the interest of those young women and youth when you are neglected over the 10 years as a women rep i will make sure kwamba all those women and youth when you walikuwa wanafaa kuhakikisha kwamba uh, their economic status is restored i will make sure that it is restored na sisi tumejipanga pia tunasema kwamba tunataka kukomboa uchumi wa Mombasa kwa ujumla tunataka kukomboa uchumi huu kwa kuregesha poti yetu kwa sababu ile poti ndio kazi yetu ndio masomo ya watoto wetu na ndio kila kitu chetu na vile vile kama mwanasheria apart from the job description ya women rep nitasimama na wenzangu kuensure that all the land disputes here in Mombasa tumeingilia kati na haki inatendeka kwa hayo machache sisi tunasema kwamba tunashirikiana na kila mtu kwa upande wowote ule kule ODM vile vya mavingine wanaokuwa wamesema kwamba wanaona kweli Kenya kwanza ndio jeshi litakao kuomboa Mombasa tunawakaribisha na sisi hatuna chuki na uhasama na mtu yoyote tunawakaribisha nyote na tunaomba support yenu mtushike kama team Kenya kwanza kuanzia kinara wetu is excellency Dr. William Samoi Ruto Governor mtakiwa Hassan Omar Sarai, Senator Hamisi Mwashogo Mwaguya. Mwashidoga. Na hapa Mbita tuko na MP Shalo na kule likoni tuko na watu wawili. Tuko na Mwahima na Kenya Kwanza iko na candidate mwingine na sisi tushasema tutafanya kazi pamoja. Kwa hayo machache asanteni sana. Sasa nitamwita